Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show, and yep. we typically talk about face masks and football helmets when we put them together and we do all that stuff, and that's mm -hmm. really cool. Mm -hmm. Today, we're talking about your helmets. Steve's a photographer. He knows what he's doing. He's going to talk about these things from a photography standpoint, so he's going to be giving tips and tricks on how to make your pictures look better. I am kind of the helmet guy, and I'm going to be telling you what my thoughts are on the actual helmet itself and all of the pieces on it, and maybe give some tips on what you can put on your helmet or things that you can do to your helmet that make them better overall. Yeah, and he's gonna give a score. I won't go there, but he's gonna give a one to 10. And if you wanna see your stuff on this show, email them to picks at greengridiron.com. I say it every video, we're getting a lot of these. We're getting to them. Just be patient. We may or may not ever get to them, but just know they're coming in and take the best pictures you can because people are stepping up their game. We try to get to 11 or 12 per episode. One more thing is if we either one of us really love your photo and or your helmet, we can give you what we call a pick, mm -hmm. which means you're going to win a free t-shirt. Excellent point. It's been a while. Maybe it's been will several win episodes that we've we've basically you're going to get a, a perfect score of a ten. That's how good it's got to be. And I'm typically it's a super rare. I'm a middle of the road. I put, try to put everybody into a, that middle range. Is, but I want to be. I want I want there to be an awful one in here that I can slam, <laughs> and I want there, there to be some in here that I'm going to love. Bring it. All right. Let's start off with Emma, and Emma is a female. Sounds like player. sounds like a female. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. All right, Emma. So. What I see here, this is a Riddell Speed Helmet. It's got a TCP uh, chin strap on it. We have on the back, we've got a embossed tech flag. Since we're the only place that sells those, we know you got it from us, Emma. Thanks. So big, big thanks. You're gonna get extra points. Whenever we see items that we know came from us, pink chrome ribbon on there. Can't see the chrome that well in the photo, but I know that it's chrome. We Why? Know. Because that's how we make them. Uh, and it looks like the, this is like a tomahawk or a spear similar to Florida State. I like the color combinations. I like a light blue and a dark blue. Here's what would make this helmet better. Would be a face mask that matches the blue, the mm. light blue oh. in that spear. We happen to have that color, call it Carolina blue. I think it would be almost an exact match to that one, but that's, that's an aside. We've got a lightweight face mask. This is the S2EG LWV. Overall, I think we got a great look here, some good playing time in it. It's not um, exceptional, but mm. it's solid. I like the matching uh, navy chin strap photo wise, really nicely done. Um, obviously, you watch the show and you know that we care about composition and nature and having this stuff out in the daylight because otherwise that face mask would have looked black. So, good job with that one. Nice job. I love the blown out, uh, you know, all the bokeh in mm -hmm. the back. What do you give an Emma? I'm going to start Emma off here with a solid. 6.0. It's a good start. Thank you for that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, good job, Emma. Yep. All right, next up, Dawson. Now, I'm just going to say real quick with the photos, again, really, really nice. Out in the daylight, uh, the chrome is shining, the decals look nice, the reds are really red, and I'm a sucker for red. Um, there's only one thing that I just can't stand, and it's that front bumper. It's no offense to you. It's just I, ju I just don't like it the way it's cut. But I, I know why you did it that way. That's all I have to say about that. I am not a sucker for red. But I also don't know where you got the, the front bumpers. They, they look like 3D bumpers, but they don't look like any 3D bumpers that you would have come from us. Or the back ones, too. I'm going to go over some, uh, some more things I don't like about these helmets first, all right? <laughs> okay. And this is not a slam on Dawson at all. The, those big, huge warning decals on the back of the helmets. Yeah. You Leave a comment below. Who out there likes big, ugly warning decals? But, but that's not his fault. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's not. I mean, you're still going to pay for it, though. No, I'm just telling you. <laughs> on shut helmets, and, and Riddell does it on some of their helmets, I too. But they just kind of... They just don't work for me. Anyway, that's just that's a little pet peeve. Here's some things that I do like about it. So you got a chrome helmet with chrome decals. Um, I think that that it looks like a pretty good looking chrome. I'm going to guess that this came straight from the factory, and that you have a silver helmet as well. So I'm going to go out on the limb and say that this is a team that is silver, and then Dawson went out and bought his own chrome helmet. That's my guess. And you see the decal is different on the chrome one too. It's got mm -hmm. like C's in the C. 
Yeah, or maybe they used to be silver and they switched over to chrome, or maybe they do both chrome and silver. Maybe these are both his helmets. Uh, I, I like the color combination. The reds and the silvers and the whites all go together, and the grays. Um, I think it's similar to like a, you know an Ohio State yeah. kind of look. I'm gonna go with this guy a six point six. No, okay. Which is pretty good, but chrome. You got a lot of points for chrome, and they're yeah. F sevens. I would have I would have went with seven or so, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> all right. Next up, John M. And this is. Super current. This is not the first time we've seen helmets from John M. Uh, that is true. Be. That Can't is be. true. That is true. All right, so we got a lot going on here. And I'm, I'm, I'm debating in my head right now whether or not this is worthy of a pick, but it's going to be close because we got some really good stuff. So uh, the front of the helmet, we've got what a, it is a blue chrome face mask, we've got a blue Under Armour visor, we've got a green gridiron shut elite hard cup chin strap. All of those things have been upgraded on this helmet, do not come with this helmet. So when he bought this helmet, this is one of the amp helmets, he went and basically stripped some things off, like the face mask and the chin strap, yeah. and built it back up to the way that he likes it. So we've got a US and a Canada flag on there, both of those are chrome. We've got the, um, the breast cancer, chrome camo ribbon. We have an NFL shield that he added on there. That little New York Giants helmet, that came on the helmet. Yes, but the and back and front bumpers did not. Correct. Correct. So he's added the back and front decals on the bumpers. Yes. The matching warning label he has added, and also obviously the transfer decal with, there's, with, our, with our logo on there. There's a lot going added. on. What kind of score are we going to give this guy? I love this helmet. I like everything about this helmet. If I'm a Giants fan, I'm going to love to have this in my collection. I am a Giants fan, and I do love it. And I, I love this setup with all the uh, late 80s, early 90s players in the back. It tells me that this guy is easily from 42 to 51 years old, most likely. That's, that's my guess. Um, I love it. If it was me, I'd give him a 9. I'm going to go with a 9.4. Whoa. All right, next up. Matthew K. All right, Matthew. Love this color scheme. Matthew's got some good things going on here from a photography standpoint. I think Steve loves the jersey and the cleats. Mm -hmm. Great color combination, bringing all the, the blues and oranges and whites together, right? I love that. I like the composition. I cropped a lot of these because you did so good, except the outlet. Just, it irks me. So it's like, I know you could avoid that, I guess, by moving it, but uh, it's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> I look at everything, man. And the outlet in the background just makes me see. Well, all I this. see is a face I'll going. I'll say this, Steve. You can't unsee it. Exactly. You can't unsee it. So but anyway. what, what would make this better? All right. I'm going to say, got a pretty basic face mask on here. This is the SF2BD. That's pr probably your most basic all around uh mask that kind of could work with anything from a quarterback to a linebacker. Um, you could do a visor in there. You could do a hard cup chin strap on this guy yeah. instead of a soft cup. Decals are put on really nicely. Decals are put on nice. So that and R goes cut. underneath the strap lock. So basically the decal was put on. You had to put a little hole in the decal so you can still access the screw when you put that yep. strap lock in there. So that's nice. I'm going to give this guy a... I don't know. I think it's just all of the orange and blues and whites. And you like in that. the story, the cleats. The I jersey. do like the story. Yeah. I tried to only focus on the helmet, but I kind of no. love. I, I kind of sometimes let the story he give bonus points. I'm going to give Matthew a seven point one. And if I felt a seven coming on that one, I did. Okay, thank you very much. Next up, Bailey, another one that listens. I tell you what, this is nice, and um, I'm 99% sure it was done with on portrait mode of phone. Really, really nicely done. The background is cool. This is this is cool. And I think this is just a whole lot of orange yeah. and white. I, I like it. So what we have here, this is a University of Tennessee Riddell Speed collectible. This, actually, this is an authentic yep. collectible helmet. It's got the S2BD SWSP face mask. We got the soft cup chin strap that says Riddell on it. The question some people ask is, well, how do you know this is an authentic and not a field use helmet? 
And mostly it's taking everything into consideration that I'm seeing to come up and, and, guess, and, and guess that because it technically could be something that's worn on the field. But when you see the screws in the side of the helmet on the lower face mask clips, that's the big tell right there is typically if it's going to be a field use helmet, it's going to be uh, with this type of face mask anyway. It's going to be coming with the um, quick release mechanism there and not the screws. But a lot of solid additions on here. Those 3D bumpers on the front and the back and the numbers, those are what makes it. And then we've got an upgraded warning label as well. And he put it on correctly. Instead of putting it on the curving the helmet, he mm. did it straight. Like, yep. That's so nicely done. Little things, man. Yeah, little so things. so little things like that. And then another one with a fantastic story. There's only two colors in any of these pictures. And I really I like that. It's white and orange, whether it's, it's nice. the jersey in the background or the wall. Yep. Two colors. I'm going to actually go on this one, 7.9. Okay, man. All right. 3D bumpers. Oh, I know. A couple of numbers. Yep. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Next up, John H. Did we not do John H. already? We did John M. All right, Johnny. The timing is, ooh, look at a paint job on that. So we got a cool paint job. I, I'm going to guess this is a homemade paint job. I would most certainly think so. It almost looks like that hammered paint that you buy in a can. It's a, you ever, so, it's, it's a bitch to do right, but this looks good. Oh, no. It, it, it's not a bad thing that I'm saying this oh, is a homemade paint right, job. Right. The reason I'm saying this is a, home, is a homemade paint job, one, I know John. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> Two, so, you know, I never think, I never, I never, I don't think I ever thanked John for sending, he sent down a t-shirt and a little visor, uh, uh, and, and thank you so much, and it was, I think it's the Wizards, and this is the same logo. The shirt that he sent was not pink, though. So, John... Hope you're, nice. I'm assuming you're watching. Big thanks for that. Um, this particular helmet, though, the reason I'm saying that this is a homemade paint job, one, because he does his own painting, and two, uh, that's this is an old helmet that has to be refurbished. Yeah. And it's, I mean, he stripped, took decals off, stripped it down, repainted it. I'm, I'm guessing all of those things. You can see the black on the back. He's got yeah. the black bumper on the back with the Riddell in white and red. That's not a, it's not a, a thing. stock thing. Obsessive, crazy lining up of the decals in the back oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's something that, that you know we for sure notice, and we know the, the painstaking time it took to do that. The pink Under Armour clips, we've got a pink face mask. That's a, that's a color that we used to have. We don't have it that color anymore. It's a shame. Uh, we might, I don't know, maybe we should look into adding a pink in the future. Uh, We've got everything pinked out yep. on this one. This is sweet. It's pink and black, right? And a little bit of white thrown in there. John, you're losing a lot of points for using <laughs> that Revolution helmet. Damn. Um, but I guess you're, you're, you're keeping it out of the landfill, so maybe you get some points back for that See? one. See, we are um, green. I'm going to give that guy, because I think it's a great job with the paint job, with all the decals. Those are all custom decals that you had made up. You put them all on there. It's an 8.8. 8. Oh, nice. Nice. Hey. There's not much more you could do to that. Next up, I believe this is Kinzer. All right, Kinzer. Yeah. Oh, he says, I know I can improve on the pictures. I just wanted to try to make it to look the best that I can. Um, the pictures aren't horrible, but yeah, you could do better. And then these are, he said, they're just, you know, the award decals for the... I, here, here's something. So those, those award decals on the back of the helmet, the first thing that jumps out at me, I, at first I'm like, oh, that's not right. And then, then I'm thinking, I love it. It's that they're not perfect. Um, you got your Under Armour uh, logo, which again looks like a transfer. Look, go into the back of the helmet, Steve. Like down here. Yeah, it does. Maybe, maybe they're getting them maybe somewhere. Maybe that does exist. This is the first time I've seen them, and I've seen them in two, two of these. He's got the camo going on. So he's got a, a camo ribbon, and he has a camo Under Armour visor clip decal. Yeah. Yeah. Those are both from us, so you're getting, getting extra points from that. We've got a Sports Star uh, Speedflex adapter on there so you've basically taken your speed flex and converted it so you can put a regular chin strap on there it looks like a riddell hard cup that you have on there and overall this thing has obviously been used it's got some scuffs oh, yeah. um, we've got what appears to be a knockoff of a clemson tiger paw shame shame don't let the the, the people in licensing at clemson yeah come after you for that that's okay it's not at one o'clock right so i'm gonna go with 7.8 I like that. For this guy. I like that score. 
Yeah. Probably a little generous, but that's okay. Good job. Uh, next up is William. All right, William, see what you got. All right, the picture of the front I kept in there because I wanted to show how the stripe came to a, to a tip. Mm -hmm. It's just it's blurry, but the rest are, are nice. So we've got oversized decals, cr yeah. oversized chrome decals at that, and I can tell. So these, these decals were put on after the face mask and chin strap and everything was already kind of put on this helmet because you kind of put it on there around that so that the chin strap strap doesn't cover up the decal. I think that's a good thing, personally. I, and if I, you I can do it, do it. I hate it. At when, it when I'm putting something together and that chin strap covers up an important part of the decal. Yep. Yep. Very, very difficult to do or, or to do it when you've got an oversized decal to keep it from being underneath the chin strap. You know, the gray face mask, I'm not a fan of it. I'm with you on this. It takes away a lot. I'm not a fan of it on the Giants. I'm not a fan of it on the Cowboys. Yep. I'm not a fan of it on the Raiders. Uh, but for a youth helmet, I, I, I really like the I really like the oversized decals. You know, they're they're not laid down perfectly. So difficult to get them to lay down perfectly. Yeah. It, and sometimes it's not even possible. Uh, I'm going to go with a. Let me see. How about I'm going to go with a. I'm, I'm grading this as a youth field use helmet. I'm going to go with a 7.1. Wow. Nice. You pulled yeah, you that get, out of the gate. You get a lot of points for the, uh, the big thought, decals. I thought the face mask was going to hurt. Next up, Landon. Uh, this is pretty funny. He wrote in and, and saying um, he, as much as he hates the Bucks, he appreciates that these are like pretty dope helmets. And they're his mom's. <laughs> oh. And uh, he's getting an autograph there. He didn't say who the autograph was because I don't uh, Ray Williams, 79, champion. Phew. But anyway, I love how he set this all up. It's cool on the wood and the mantle. He put the little mini. Uh, these are VSR4s from Riddell. These have been around a while, for sure. Mm. Um, and I, th I think as far as collectible helmets, they're pretty basic, except for the signature. They haven't really been upgraded at all. I'm going to give these guys a 7.0. And one or two points of yeah. that is because of the autograph. Next and last, Derek. So he wrote in and said, um, this guy came to our facility a couple weeks ago and we, uh -huh. helped, uh, we helped him uh, greatly by putting some of this stuff uh, in his cart for him. And then this is for his son. And this is a local program near them, the Braves in South Carolina, which... That's where we're located. So this is nice all the way around. Um, and he said, thank you guys so much. And uh, he appreciates all the help. Well, I love the backstory on this. Mm -hmm. I love that we've got a couple of items here that I can tell out of the gate came from us because it's obviously the, the, the flag decals on the back, possibly um, the visor, the red uh, Under Armour clips, all that stuff is great. Um, we saw all that stuff. And obviously, we've got the green grid iron transfer. Uh, decal on there so love that so big props for that and bonus points of course. Um, we've got a pretty basic face mask uh, this is the s2b dlwv that comes with a lot of the youth helmets back in the day it actually used to come with a lot of the adult helmets as well but this is a newer helmet see here down here steve you got the um Oh, that's valve. right. They have the, the screws now instead of just popping them in place which are so much better we're talking about the the valve cap screws um, that so, lock in the pads both along the top and two in the sides there. So this is a newer helmet. Newer helmets, youth helmets, come with these um, lightweight face masks still. I'm going to so, guess he's in, you know, somewhere between 10 and 12. Right. That's my bet. I love when we're, when there's very few colors, this is simple. It's it's there's it's not too much in you, but the the placement of the red clips, I think that that alone brings the whole red oh, yeah. white scheme together. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a 7.0. Well, listen, thank you so much for watching again. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.